What's up guys, it's Ego, and today I'm finally back with some form of content for you. Um, so I just went to Menards, which is a Midwestern, uh, basically like a Lowe's, like hardware store kind of thing. It's got all, a whole bunch of shit. Um, so I have uh, some Menards stuff, and I also have a package from Arda. So yeah, let's uh, check out what the hell I've got. <laughs> so first, with my Menards haul, I have a couple of these breathing masks because I plan on using a Dremel and a lot of uh, materials and uh, techniques that I don't want to inhale whatever's going to be coming off of my projects. Um, I'm pretty sure I lost my other ones, but these are really essential if you're going to be like spray painting or, you know, creating a lot of dust and nasty things like uh, glue fumes that you don't want to inhale. So these are really great and I definitely recommend uh, face masks for anybody who's doing dangerous cosplay things. Next I have a couple cans of Plasti Dip. Um, I'll be using these for Star Guardian Poppy. It'll be my first time using Plasti Dip so that's exciting and hopefully I won't fuck it up. So next I have another material that I need for Star Guardian Poppy and you may have seen me use this um, with the Lollipoppy hammer. Uh, I got uh, foam board, uh, the construction adhesive, uh, to glue together uh, insulation foam boards. Um, it's really great, I already have the, the gun that you need to use these with, uh, so I just needed some refills, so I got those. Um, really great for insulation foam board, and I can't speak to the other stuff because I haven't tried it, but it uh, works for insulation foam board. Next, since I just got my Dremel, and I'll be using my Dremel for the first time ever with Star Guardian Poppy, I got some other uh, sanding Dremel heads with a finer grain uh, so that I uh, don't take like huge bites out of my foam and destroy my project, basically. Uh, so these are uh, the 240 grit uh, sanding heads for my Dremel. So that'll be helpful. So after watching Kamui Cosplay's video on working with Eva Foam um, and different types of uh, ways you can prime Eva Foam, uh, I picked up some Quick Seal uh, because I don't know if you have this issue, but I have cats that like to bite into my foam pieces. Uh, this should do the job of filling in the gaps really well. Uh, I'm going to be trying it out for the first time on Star Guardian Poppy's Gauntlets that my cat's already gone to town on. And of course, I have the, what are these technically called? Interlocking foam utility mats. So I've got these and uh, I've only used craft foam sheets in the past. So these should be fun. I'm planning on using them for making the shoulder pieces and the uh, hip pieces for Star Guardian Poppy, as well as uh, the base of the chest plate. So I'm hoping that it goes well. I have my heat gun already and all that stuff. Uh, so it should be okay. At least I'm hoping so. And I mean, it was $9.99 for a pack of these. So I think that's a decent price. You can probably get it cheaper on Amazon. It's just a thicker gauge foam. So I'm super excited to start working with this. Okay, and now the super exciting stuff, which is my package I got from Arda. So let me just open this bitch up and see what we've got. All right. Okay. So I got a Magnum in royal blue for the base wig for Star Guardian Poppy. Um, they, I wanted Lulu, but they were on back order and I'm impatient. So I didn't want to wait. And Magnum works just as well, I believe, as Lulu. It's just not as much... Uh, not as much wig to work with if you are really into like starting with a lot and editing down to precisely what you want. But I think that Magnum's gonna be do the job just fine. So yeah, it looks to be to me to be the perfect color on uh, for the royal blue. I think that's gonna go really well um, with Star Guardian Poppy's look. Pretty perfect. Uh, I freaking love Arta wigs. Um, my second choice is Epic Cosplay Wigs. 
uh, I feel like those tangle a bit more, but it might have just been because I was a, more of a novice with wigs and didn't care for them properly. But I, I think Arda Wigs is the absolute best wig that you can get for cosplay. And to go with that wig, I have the two curly clips in royal blue, of course. Now, obviously, Star Guardian Poppy's ponytails are not curly like this. So what I'll be doing is I'll be taking very warm water uh, and dipping the clips into it, and that will release the styling of the curls in the wig, so it'll be straight, and uh, then I, from there I can uh, add volume and puff it up and make it look uh, exactly like it's supposed to look for the cosplay. And finally, and this is a big freaking deal for me, I have not used uh, this kind of material before and I needed to get to that $70 limit uh, to get free shipping from Arda. So I went ahead and I bought a couple sheets of Thybra. I'm very excited for this. I've not worked with thermoplastics. I think it's going to be super scary but super awesome at the same time. The Thybra feels really thick and sturdy, and I've never had Warbler or anything like that before either. So I didn't really know what to expect, um, but it's a really sturdy and thick thermoplastic. I am really excited to use this. I'm thinking that I'm going to use it for more detailing work on the chest plate for Star Guardian Poppy. Um, I don't know if I am going to use it on other parts. I might be able to use it on the headband, um, but I'm not sure if foam might be a better way to go with it, but uh, for now my plans for this is to use it on the chest plate for the detailing and uh, see how it goes from there. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my little cosplay supply haul video. Um, I'm sorry that I've gone missing completely from YouTube for quite a while, um, but with Star Guardian Poppy coming, I am planning on doing more videos of, uh, well, doing videos in general, I can say, of work logs and tutorials. I know people really like the Lollipoppy Hammer tutorial, so I want to do a tutorial on Star Guardian Poppy's hammer as well. Um, I will be working on a tutorial for like the gauntlets, um, recording how I work on the chess piece, and all that fun stuff. So if you are a Star Guardian Poppy cosplayer, hopefully I can help you along with the process. I'm really excited to make this cosplay and I plan on wearing it at Anime Iowa 2018. Thanks! Have a good one!